up everybody it's your girl Sophie Self back here on Sophia's Football Talk to discuss the latest Madrid derby between Atletico Madrid at the Metropolitano versus Real Madrid that ended in 1-1 I mean this game wasn't exciting in terms of goal scoring it had opportunities for either teams yes 100% it might not necessarily be a game that goes into the history book in terms of that, but probably more so for other reasons in regards to the game being postponed, suspended um, at the latter stages of second half due to right after the um, Real Madrid goal where Militao scored from a free kick and what a wonderful goal it was. I definitely enjoyed the short uh, free kick version from a Modric to give it then to a Vinny and then Vinny crossing it over, whipping it to a Militao who just was able to do his thing. Boom. And then after that, Courtois was kind of giving it a little bit to the Atletico Madrid fans. So they retaliated by throwing stuff onto the pitch. And I believe there was some type of stuff happening even prior, early on in the game and even before the game. So this was kind of his way to be like, you know what? You're not going to try to silence me. We're now leading, yada, yada, yada. But the game did get postponed, suspended for, I would say, 10-15 10-15 minutes and where all of the players including the coaches had to uh, leave the pitch and you had some of the or right as they were leaving the pitch you had some of the Atletico Madrid players trying to calm down the fans alongside the coach Diego Simeone because the fans was a bit too aggressive I get that you can be angry, you can be passionate, but I do think that just because you get provoked would mean that you then are going to try to harm somebody by throwing stuff or maybe say some vile stuff. I would never understand that. That is something that me personally, I'm not going to get. But after a while, they did come back and... Instantly, Real Madrid had some chances, but Real Madrid also had some chances themselves. I mean, yeah, but it was basically Correa, the uh, who has kind of become Atletico Madrid's like super sub. He came in in the ninety fourth minute. He scored the equalizer. I would say it was very bad defending from Real Madrid. Um, at first glance. They ruled it off to be an offside, but then they checked and he was on. And that was that. That was four minutes before um, the overall game was done. And I think 1-1 probably is warranted, depending on how the game went. It wasn't high-scoring game as I wanted it to. You didn't have an Mbappe um, playing due to the fact that he's out because of an injury. But you still had some other players that could show up, though. Bellingham was still yet to score against Atletico Madrid, even with a lot of attempts. But hey, here we are. Sir Lot, who, when he last time met Real Madrid, when he played for Villarreal last season, scored four goals. Today, wasn't as clinical, unfortunately. And he got stopped off around the late 50 minutes, 56 or so. But hey, Real Madrid, by dropping points, are now three points behind a Barcelona who got smashed up by Osasuna for nil. While Barcelona tried to... Hansi Flick, in a lot of ways, was a bit too naive... Yes, you have some injuries, but the way he rotated away to Osasuna didn't make sense whatsoever. But Real Madrid had the opportunity to kind of close that gap even further by just being one point behind. 
and after three points, I still do think that Real Madrid probably will win the league. I just have a feeling. But you never know with Barcelona. They have been cruising and been doing very well with and under a Hansi Flick. With Laminia Mal still cooking, Lewandowski cooking as well. Come on now. And Real Madrid, I feel like they haven't really fully kicked into gear. I mean, the attack. And we'll see how long Mbappe will be out for, but Andrik is also a player that can, they can put in here and there. He had one big chance where he probably, in my opinion, should have passed it further to a Bellingham. But hey, he tried. Vinny didn't get into the scoring sheets today. And I do feel like the lot of hate that he does get, I think it's a bit unwarranted. Like, it's... Now we're doing too much. Instantly. Yes, he's a character, but cut him a break. Let him let him be himself. Why do we try to restrict him? You know what I'm saying? And let me talk about Luka Modric. Guy is still class. Guy is still wonderful. At his age, a lot of players retire even before that. I mean, we saw with the Cruz who retired what, at the age of 34. And Modric is, what, 38, 39? And he's still cooking? I just find that so mind-boggling. How he can keep this level even now, till this day, in 2024. Because this probably might be his final season as his contract runs out this upcoming summer, next year. But hey, he's still cooking. He's still showing why he is a legend and will forever be a legend for Real Madrid. Oh yeah, comment your thoughts about the game as well in the comment section. And of course, subscribe to Sofia's Football Talk. Give this video here a like on your way out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Sovi sal. Bye-bye.